So for those of you that want to get into nighttime predator hunting, but are a little bit hesitant because of the high priced scanning lights and the weapon mounted lights, stay tuned to this video and we'll check out this vast fire hunting light. So this vast fire hunting light is kind of geared towards the budget minded hunter, someone that's maybe just starting to get into it. Uh, doesn't have a lot to spend on a weapon mounted light. That way they can get out and pursue some predators after dark. So I've been using this light for probably uh, three, maybe four weeks now. Really been using it quite a bit and mainly been using it for beaver hunting. But I'm actually gonna show you guys some footage of a few beaver hunts using this light. And I used the white LED for those hunts and uh, have been very happy with it. Had some, you know, had some good kill shots on those nights that I went out and I uh, want to show you guys that footage and just some real you know field footage that actually shows the capabilities of this vast fire unit so here a little bit later tonight we'll go ahead and i'll show you off the back porch kind of what the three led bulbs look like so i don't want to clog this video up and make it a very lengthy video showing you everything that's in the box here i'll just show you at a very quick and high level detail what comes in the box in the nice carrying case that it comes with and the components, the accessories that come with the unit. So the big things on this flashlight is that it's not zoomable and you cannot adjust the brightness of the LED. But it is nice because at its price point, it comes with a green, a white, and a red LED, which sometimes is hard to find whenever you're initially purchasing a light by itself. And at its price point, somewhere around 55 to 60 bucks, coming with three different LEDs, um, I mean, if you look online, an LED by itself is somewhere from 20 to 30 bucks. So you're getting three of those whenever you purchase this light and the rest of the accessories. So I think that's a pretty good bargain and it's just a really budget friendly option. You can click the link below, take a look at the specs, take a look at all the uh, product reviews from uh, first hand users and then buy the light directly uh, from that link. We'll take a look off the back deck at a few different yardage markers and just kind of see how it performs. And then I'm gonna show you guys some actual uh, real-time footage during some of those beaver hunts. So here's everything that comes in the package. Uh, you'll get the actual flashlight itself. You'll get the mounting bracket uh, that amounts to a Picatinny rail. You get two 18650 batteries. You get a total of three LEDs. You get a green, a red, and a white LED. You get this dual 18650 battery charger and then you get a weapon mounted pressure switch. So here's the vast fire mounted on top of my Savage uh, 22 rifle. I just use this mount that goes right around the scope and then the light sets on top there and you can see the wire here running to the pressure switch which I put underneath this camo wrap to hold it in place securely. I like this setup because it holds it in place. Uh, it doesn't move around or fall off. You can still easily locate the button to push it off and on. So these uh, deer hunting targets right here are about 35 yards away. They'll show up just fine. Uh, this lens that I'm using back here on my camera does not have any zoom, so it will just be static uh, throughout the demonstration of these three bulbs. So right here, the top of this hill in that wood line is probably 120 to 130 yards. And it picks up that pretty well. And then we'll pan to the right here, and you can see this light right over here is the light that's on the side of that barn and that's about 295 yards away. Uh, this light doesn't really pick up past probably 150 yards with the red LED. Alright so back out again with the green LED bulb. And you can see there how well that lights up the whole deer target. Uh, really puts a nice halo around everything with the green LED compared to the red. And we'll pan up here to that wood line is much more visible. Like I say, that's probably in the 130 range. And then we'll pan over 
over this area over here the very bright white is that barn and that's about 295 so with the green LED uh, it kind of just lights up illuminates the a larger portion of the bean field back back here compared to the red LED I will go inside and put in the white LED. We'll get this to focus on the deer target. There we go. And that's a real nice, clean, uh, crisp picture there. Once again, a good nice halo around everything with a good center beam. Once again, you can't control the beam with this particular bass firelight, uh, and you cannot control the brightness level. And then we'll scan up here to the first wood line. looks pretty nice right there in that 130 yard range and over to the barn which is about 290 the white picks up really well it's not picking up back there at 295 but um, out of the three LEDs that it came with I would say the white is the best as far as visibility That right there is all in that 120 to 130 yard range. I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you look right through this tree, there's maybe a deer back there. So if I was to pick one winner, uh, it's going to be the white LED. For coyote hunting purposes, I typically run with the red LEDs, uh, but I'm going to show you guys some uh, beaver hunting footage that I've been having some good success with the uh, white LED, so I'll show you that. So just some real feedback on this. Uh, I do have some other uh, weapon mounted lights that I use for coyote hunting that I'm definitely gonna keep using over this unit itself, but I paid probably three to four times as much as this unit cost. Uh, one of the pluses with this unit, like I mentioned, is the fact that it comes with three different LED bulbs. You get the green, the red, and the white, so you get some different options there. You can use this as a handheld scanning light, just a regular flashlight or it comes with a nice um, couple different options to mount it to your weapon. I prefer something where I can adjust the brightness and dim it down. And then I also want something where I can fo focus the beam in real tight on a subject or I can kind of flood it out and make it a bigger observation area. So those are a couple things that I look for, a couple things that I utilize, but um, for starting out, I mean, this is a no brainer. Uh, 55 to 60 bucks, this will allow you to get out at night uh, you're not going to kill them from the couch so uh, anything you know uh, that can allow you to get out at night time and uh, you know be in the woods be in those fields looking for predators um, this is a, a very easy and a very good way to to get into the game i would be confident at taking kill shots up to 100 yards with this 
you can definitely detect uh, predator's eyes uh, much farther out, probably talking 170 to 200 yards, and uh, identify your target, and then just keep calling, wait on them to get closer, and then take a good, clean, you know, confident kill shot. Uh, so for the price point on this, I highly recommend it. I think it's a very budget-friendly option to get you started. Be sure to give this video a like. Make sure and subscribe to stay tuned for more product reviews. And uh, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.